Welcome back to Manon Cross New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, and shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Horn Hollow today in a rather late episode? Um, again, and I don't really have anything particularly to talk about, I'm, at least I can't think of something off the top of my head, but you know, you, you sort of just fill the air until something naturally comes your way. Um, honestly, I should have, should have recorded some episodes today of, of stuff, but I just couldn't be bothered despite the episodes are late today as well. Just, you know, you have those days where you're just like, ah, you know, didn't really feel like it. Which is a good thing of having a backlog. It's now about, actually got like almost two weeks of a backlog, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really? I've only got ten episodes backlog? Well, I guess that is nearly two weeks now I think about it. But anyway, good evening, everyone. Right now in Fort Hollow, it's 10.20pm on Wednesday, January 11, 2023. One, 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 one. In three ones. Is that lucky? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's particularly lucky or anything. You know, triple one, at least in the UK, who goes to the non-emergency, like, medical helpline or something. Um... Actually, I'm not sure if it's just medical stuff. It might, it might be stuff in general. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Never got it. Then I don't really know what it's like. Um, what, 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 what can we talk about today? I don't really know. Hmm. Any, anything crazy happen? Any gaming news that's happened? I always turn to gaming news. when I, You know, when I'm ever stuck, I'm just like, oh, I need something to talk about. Just be like, talk about a cool game I saw. But I don't think it's been a particularly cool game I saw. Oh, to my head, so if it's where we just talk about something random, you know, like soups and thermosks and flasks. I don't know why that came to mind. You might be like, do you have like a thermos or flask near you? And the answer is no. Um, well, I do remember, actually. <laughs> I have two, two random anecdotes. One of, one of them isn't even anecdotes, so I don't know why it came to mind. But there was this, um, this guy in like my class who, who would always bring in like a thermos to like, um, I think I only had electronics with him. I can't really remember. Whatever. So I don't know if he bought it to, to be fair to have a, to, um, of classes or whatever and he always like just had like soup in there or something or coffee or tea or i can't even remember what he had i feel like it was just soup just one of the days and i was just like well, you just got soup you, you know his name's not bob but oh, let's call him bob you just got soup in there and he was like yeah <laughs> and he was like you want some and i was like nah i'm good but it smelled pretty good though that's all i remember anyway um it was back in secondary school it's not not back in primary school and it's not in university in university i feel like i'd be quite normal you know someone just got like soup next to you be like oh that's the most normal thing and I'm trying to think if there's anything particularly weird which happened in university, but like um, eating wise, but I can't really, <laughs> I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, but I do remember this one time we had a competition in primary school where basically we had to make the best insulator. We had to make, make the best thing which would stop ice melting for the longest time. And I remember we we all did um, a different. No, not all of us did it. But only like six of us did things. And I remember I, I I tried hard about it. You know, like I actually thought about it. You know, like I can't remember. I was like, get the ice, wrap it up in foil, wrap it up in some cloth, and then I, I can't remember. I put some like other insulating stuff things around it to prevent it um, from melting. Or hopefully. And I remember one of the other girls. <laughs> she she just literally just bought an thermos flask and was just like just put it in here and it'll be fine and, and I you know part of me and at the time I was incredibly outraged I was like you didn't even try and do the thing and of course that's going to win because you know that's like a industrially made thing absolutely just made to like keep heat in or you know wait <laughs> it's basically made to keep it cool or whatever I can't remember exact I think it was a thermos flask that, that, that's what I remember it being um, unsurprisingly she won I came third and I, oh, I actually remember as well there was a moment <laughs> But this story's going to take some explaining. Well, because I wrapped it up in so many things, every so often we had to check it because my thing was obviously not see-through. It was not very easy to see if it melted or not. So, I, you know, every single, like, half an hour or something, you know, 20 minutes, 10 minutes or something, you would, uh, had to open it up and be like, is the ice cube still there? And, of course, I didn't, you know, legitimately, I didn't want to open it up too much because I was like, maybe the heat will get in and melt it more. Because, you know, I'm, I don't know, I guess I was kind of competitive in a sense and I'm like, I wanted to win. Not in the sense I wanted to win, just more like I wanted to prove myself in a sense, which I guess is competitive. So, you know, I don't know why I'm just not trying to justify it weirdly. I remember I, like, I did that every single time, you know, I just like open up a little bit, but I didn't open the foil completely. I just like poke my finger in it. I was like, yep, it's still there. And legitimately, you know, I thought it was there every single time. And then <laughs> one of the times, I think the teacher didn't believe me and she opened it up as well and there was nothing there. And I remember she looked at me and I looked at her and I knew at that moment, she thought I was lying every single time where I said the ice cube was still there and it hasn't melted. But I swear, legitimately, I thought it was there every single time because I felt something hard, which in retrospect was probably just before you were poking back at me. Uh, but at that moment, you know, I felt really sad because I was like, she doesn't believe me. She, she doesn't think I'm, even if I say, I, I don't think it was there. I thought it was her. She's not going to believe me. She thought I was lying. But, you know, so be it. She she still sort of, like, gave me fair place. And also, I, I would say she wasn't the most amazing teacher. She was quite, you know, rude sometimes, I would say. <laughs> she, she she was hit or miss as a, as a teacher. She's certainly not my favourite primary school teacher, I would say. So, you know, in the end of the day, it's all like, um, you know, am I trying to win her favour? No, you know, I just... A, a funny story to tell about now. 
because I don't know. It, it, I remember it so viscerally, I guess, because it was such a negative emotion being like, oh, you know, but there's nothing worse than the feeling of you're telling the truth, but no one's going to believe you. That sort of thing. So I, I, I don't know. I guess that's one of the, the more defining moments when I don't want to say defining moment. It didn't really define me <laughs> as a person or anything. But it's just um, one more visceral, not visceral either, you know, just um, a, a moment which stuck in my memory because I was just like, oh, you know. I, I guess it's because I was, I was so aware, like, of a situation being like, oh, you know, I know how this makes me look. But, like, legitimately, I thought it was there every single time. And anyway, I came first. I can't remember who came second. I think it was someone who used, like, actual, like, attic insulation or whatever. So, you know. Granted, I, I did it very, like, sort of last minute. Not last minute. I, I did it by myself. I think it was pretty good, to be honest. Um... But yeah, anyway, ice melting. So anyway, it turns out a thermos flask is better than like al aluminum. Aluminum? Am I American? Aluminium foil and um, like, I think it was cheesecloth actually put into like a cardboard box or something. <laughs> I don't really remember. Um, anyway, the, what, what did we win? It, we won like a highlight. It was a thing, at least, and it might still be a thing in primary school now, but like it was at least a thing for us back in primary schools. And um, WH Smith used to sell these really mini highlighters. They were like triangular prisms, I guess is what I describe them, but they were like, Maybe like the size of your thumb, or whatever. They were super popular. They're like they came in like packs of three of like mini ones. And anyway, the, the, the teacher bought like two of those packs. There were six of them. So the winner got a whole pack, and then like second place got two highlighters, and third place me got one highlighter. I don't even like. I don't even want the prize. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I just wanted redemption. In my teacher's eyes being like, I didn't lie to you. At least not intentionally. I did. I I told a falsehood, but it was not a lie because I legitimately thought it was true. I was honest. I was not being dishonest intentionally. That is. Anyway. Um. I think she was also a substitute teacher, now I think about it, because I think that happened in year six. Did that happen in year six? And she was not our year six teacher, so I don't really remember. Anyway, our actual year six teacher was super cool, from what I recall. <laughs> um, I, I did have that teacher, though, for year three. Like, I don't have anything against her as a person, you know, just like, especially at least my memory of her was like, you know, if you're going to have to rank all the teachers that you ever had from when you were a child, you know, someone's going to have to take up a bottom starts, <laughs> probably. I'd, I only say this because I, I just remember she was a very, she, she she had some very mean moment, which you know I'm not really going to dive into because it's not my story. You know I was a sort of bystander, but but that's the one which it keeps in my mind. Anyway, I don't think, actually no, I was going to be like I don't think I've ever owned a thermos flask. Actually, before we talk about thermos flask, is, is thermos thermos must be a copyrighted word, like a trademarked word, right? It must be the company name. Okay. Just gotta, just gotta keep it in mind because then um, this um, type of this episode's gonna be called Flask instead of Fermos Flask. <laughs> um, no, try not to do brand names unless it's a video game, which you know, not that I should be really that concerned about it, but you know, I don't know. I guess why am I concerned about it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Future proofing or something. Anyway, I was gonna say I don't think I ever owned a flask, but that's not true because I used to use a flask as a water bottle back in um, like year two or year three. I think it was one from China or something. It was like a red, red and I must say. The unscrew water bottle. I have an unscrew water bottle right now. When you're younger, you're like, this is the most inconvenient thing. When you're older, you know, at least when I'm older right now, I'm just like, it's not that inconvenient anymore. Because when you're younger, you know what the cool water bottle to have is? There's always those sippy water bottles, which are probably like absolute bacteria, sort of like breeding grounds or whatever. I mean, like lips and nibs or whatever. Nibs, not, not uh, Lids and, um, what are they called? Sorry, a little bit of a pause. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, like flasks or whatever. I mean, to be fair, I, I mean, I said I had a flask as a water bottle. I'm not really sure if it counts as a, a flask as it is more of a, a metal water bottle. Like, what's the proper de definition of a flask? Is that like it has to be like a specifically insulated metal bottle? Anyway, it's red. I remember it had like one of those screw-on lids. And the, the, the lid was, instead of it being like a bottle lid or something, it was like a, a hole. I swear, like a ring, I suppose. <laughs> Like, um, like, imagine you just, like, stood a ring on top of a bottle. I don't, I don't know why I always go so in-depth with these descriptions, which don't even matter in the slightest. It's not like you're picturing. No, even if you're picturing the wrong thing, it doesn't look like, it's not like it really matters. <laughs> actually, a random story. But this, this definitely happened in, like, year six, I think. I remember one of my friends, like, I was, you know, just put, like, soap in my water bottle once. For, for whatever, for every reason. And I got very annoyed at him. <laughs> I remember that much. And I, I remember I washed it out like multiple, multiple, multiple times, and I was just like, I still taste the soap. And he was like, You can't taste the soap. You can't taste the soap. <laughs> I remember he get he got quite annoyed as well that I didn't accept his apology at the time, <laughs> or something. Or I didn't accept until I couldn't taste soap on it anymore, or something. Anyway, I don't know. But that just randomly came to mind. <laughs> um. So I guess I was still using that water bottle back then. That's weird. 
I thought I switched them out for like a, a plastic water bottle at some point. Maybe I didn't. You know, maybe I was being a bit more environmentally friendly than I, than I would have expected. <laughs> I, I genuinely can't remember. Oh yeah, that was a bulldog jacket we, we gave you. Well, I mean, you wanted to buy ages ago, wasn't it? Yeah, because like, flasks are different now I think about it, because they have a, like, a specific like lid thing you need to do to, um, to whatever to undo it. You like push it on one side and it opens it up and then there's like a red button in the middle. At least then we had like a family thermos or something. Well, not, I shouldn't say family, it was one of my father's or whatever. <laughs> Which I never used. Because I'm not, I'm not like a, a warm water drinking sort of person, you know. Most of the time I just drink cold water. It's ref cool, it's refreshing. I'm like, ah, fantastic when I drink it. And, you know, what hot drinks do I drink? I, I drink tea, I guess. Not all the time. I haven't really drunk tea for a long while now, but, you know. Well, I shouldn't say a long while. It's not like it's been, like, years or something. But, like, um, I used to drink tea every single day, but now, now in the mornings. But now I don't. I just, you know, drink, drink whatever. I like, drink water. Maybe drink a bit of milk. Um... Mainly because tea sort of stains your teeth or whatever, and the caffeine, well, and I don't really need the caffeine, so I was like, eh, why not just drink something else? <laughs> Simples, yeah? Simples. Squeak. Um, I don't know. I don't really have much to say about thermos or flasks, to be honest. I just remember, and it's very distinctive in my memory, that one, the one um, classmate I had drinking from his thermos flask, like just taking a sip every now and then. Like, when I imagine him, I imagine him holding, like, that, that, like, lid thing of a thermos flask, which I must say is a fantastic invention, to be able to have, you know, the bottle plus lid, the lid be the cup. Actually, more things should be like that, to be honest. You know, well, why not have the entire thermos flask just, like, have an outer sort of, like, shell, or just made out of cups? Actually, I don't know how that would work, because I suppose you need a bottom to a cup, so I guess you could have a two-ended thermos flask with cups on both ends, I don't know. Is that a thing? Thermos, flask, multiple cups. I, I guess probably what you could do is you could just have one massive lid, which is just like four cups stacked on top of each other or something. <laughs> that probably makes way more sense. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at like fancy thermos flasks. See if there's any cool ones, you know. Not that I, I particularly want a cool one. I, I don't even know what I do with a thermos flask. As I say, I don't drink coffee and, you know, I don't really want that much tea, to be honest. So, you know, most of the times I just sort of drink the tea and that's it. And then, you know, I, all I want is a portable water bottle. And I got my portable water bottle, my Nalgene. Which, maybe I should get a new one at some point or something. This one's getting probably quite old, but I mean, it's still working. A bottle is a bottle, as long as it isn't infecting me, hopefully, on the inside. It should be fine. And if it is infecting me, I, I'm not, like, aware of it. So I, I guess that's not too bad. <laughs> Well, I guess it could be worse is probably how I want to put it. Um, is that crazy red back there? That is crazy red back there. We're going to promptly ignore you. Sorry, red. I, by my own paintings, I don't know what I was going with. Uh, we don't need to visit people now because we found um, the crafter today, or cooker, I suppose. Well, this one's wild. It's got like a bit of a weird like bend in it. Yeah, actually, you know, these water bottles... These vacuum flasks, as it's called, are very popular nowadays, aren't they? Because they've, you, you see them more than... Like, I don't even know how to describe it, except for they look like a very unassuming metal flask, which sort of, like, curves upwards. And if anything, it's kind of, like, wine bottle-shaped, I would say. And you might be like, oh, what type of wine bottle? Because there's, like, two wine bottle shapes, one from one area, one from another, because one of them has, like, a sloped curve upwards, and one of them sort of, like, comes in at more of a right angle. And I'm like, oh, I don't remember which one, uh, which one's which, but it's one with a slopey sort of pattern. Anyway, I feel like that's sort of like the de facto go-to water bottle that people buy nowadays. It's like all the metal water bottle, I suppose. Which is weird. It's not weird, I'm going to say. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird now I think about it, the fact that it's actually changed like generationally, as I think, as I've grown up. Because when I was younger, you know what it was always about? It was always about that plastic water bottle, which, you know, they, they always came in like really bright colours, like bright blue and green. <gasps> Ooh, had a tarantula. Um... Other, other combinations like pink and purple whatever and they all had like this inner core which you know was separate from water bottle and you might be like why do you need like a separate water bottle inside your water bottle no what it was oh it's tavi hello we have you on your um happy in paradise uh what you're meant to do is you're meant to fill up that inner core put it in the freezer and then when it's like school time you know you fill up fill up your water bottle with like cold water or whatever put that, that ice core in and you know screw it up and then it's like oh in the summer you're gonna have absolutely chilled out uh, water for the entire day, so you're gonna have cool, refreshing water the entire day through. 
which is like, whoa, that's crazy. Although we had water fountains back in school, so maybe it's not that crazy because you just get cold, refreshing water, I suppose, on water fountain. But to be fair, some, sometimes the water fountains had a bit of a weird taste to them. And I'm not saying that probably there was some sort of bacterial buildup maybe inside of them, but maybe there was, I don't know, at least on one of them. <laughs> or maybe that's just sort of the taste of pipes. Who knows? Um, but anyway, that, that, that was sort of like the go-to one. And then in secondary school, I feel like the go-to was like, no one had water bottles. <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest. And then, you know, as I get older and like university, like young adult life, everyone's everyone's got these like, these metal flask water bottles. Like, I don't know, maybe if I just go metal flask, it'll come up. Maybe metal water bottle will come up. Yeah, okay, I mean, oh, there we go. It's like number five. There we go. Hold on. Metal water bottle. Yeah, that, that metal water bottle, that shit. The one which is there like all the time in Google Images, if you search it. Everyone's got this. I don't have one of those. But I think everyone's got this is because they always sell like different prints of this one. It's like, oh, any pattern or like decal you can conceivably think of is printed on this bottle somewhere. Or, like mass produced somewhere. And, like spray printed on or like heat printed on. I don't know. I can't imagine it's heat printed because you probably use a metal water bottle for um, hot drinks, don't you? But um, I don't know. They're just ubiquitous is probably what I'd say. But here I am still in my Nalgene water bottle. I don't know what next trend is going to be for water bottles. It, I think it's probably a bit misleading to cover water bottle trends. Actually, the thing I heard now, um, which is popular, and which I assume with Generation Alpha, which is kind of with kids. I don't know actually if it's legitimate or not, but people are just buying, you know, like popular drinks, which have cool bottles, and then just using it as a water bottle, which is fair enough, I suppose, to be using. But I only heard about that because apparently there's this thing called Prime, which is like an energy drink, which I don't know, but I... Do people don't like it or do like it or something like that? I don't really know. Anyway, it's controversial in some... Somehow, and I didn't really know what it was, but I just saw that like someone said a comment being like, oh, most people are just sort of like using it as a water bottle now. <laughs> and I was like, all right, fair enough, I guess. Um, you do you. It reminds me of also a time I went to um, a restaurant like with um, a friend and they served, uh, is it Voss water? That sounds right. Voss water, like a really fancy like luxury water with like a really cool water bottle for whatever reason. Um, you might be like, what's so special about the water? Um, nothing, but I can tell um, it's water. Um, but it comes in, it, I'm going to say, it's a pretty sleek design I'm gonna, for a bottle. You know, I'm not going to say it's a bad looking bottle. I'm going to say, that's kind of cool. Um, and I remember that was like one of the first times we saw it in like a restaurant. And she was like, wow, this is so cool. Can I keep this bottle? And then like, I remember um, the waitress being like, technically you're not meant to, but you know, why not? <laughs> and then, I don't know, I, I assume she still uses it as a water bottle to this day. Or it's like thrown away in a bin somewhere, who knows? I will. Two possibilities of life. You either use it as a water bottle or you throw it away in a bin. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. Anyway, um, flasks? Is so, that you turn to Wikipedia? Is there definitely. Well, I guess not flask is not what I'm thinking about because I'm not thinking of like a hip flask, you know, for like your whiskey or whatever. I'm thinking of thermos flasks. Specifically. That's so you go to Wikipedia. They're actually called vacuum flasks. Huh. I didn't know. Yeah, Thermos brand. There you go. Anyway. Oh, okay, so that does make sense. It does have a sense of insulation because it has a vacuum in between the outside and the inside. That makes sense. That's why it's so good at keeping things cold and warm, I suppose. Probably. <laughs> um, reduces heat transfer by conduction or convection. And it also virtually eliminates condensation outside of flasks. So, you know, pretty cool, I suppose. But for me, I'm all right with a snogging bottle. I don't know. I guess I, I kind of like plastic more for a bottle than metal, you know, shun plastics of course, but I suppose if you reuse it for multiple years, it's at least kind of like economical in a sense and environmental. Well, I, I, I guess the most environmental thing would be like paper or something, a reusable paper one for many years, but I don't think that exists yet, at least that I know of. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I guess metal ones are just really loud, that's kind of why I don't really like using them. Do you use them for cooking? Excuse me? Thermal cooking? Anyway, vacuum flasks. I don't own one. <laughs> I guess that's the long and short of it. But I'm going to round up this episode here. So if you haven't watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Day Darling. Likes, comments, description, shares are greatly appreciated. To return to Discord down below. Hope we see each other again. But for now, it's a farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now.